It's May 2nd, 1982. Edwin Rosario in black trunks takes on veteran Edwin Virouette in Las Vegas. Virouette won round one. Rosario came back with good body blows to win round two. Here in round three, it's dead even. A dynamite right by Rosario explodes off Virouette's jaw and sends him crashing to the canvas. Virouette is up at eight, but wisely the referee stops the fight. It's November 14th, 1981. Fast rising lightweight Edwin El Chapo Rosario takes on Roberto Garcia in Las Vegas. Rosario in black trunks has won all of his 12 pro fights by knockout, and he is looking to make Garcia number 13. Rosario forcing the action. A looping left floors Garcia here in round two. It's all over. Edwin Rosario adds Roberto Garcia to his list of KO victims with an impressive display of punching power. It's October 27, 1988. Former lightweight champion of the world, Edwin Rosario, with back to the camera. Is butted intentionally by Juan Manaya. Rosario walks away in pain as the referee has the judges take a point away from Manaya. Rosario looking for an opening now. Dynamite right explodes off Manaya's jaw, and he drops like a falling tree. In slow motion, Rosario lands that perfectly timed right hand. And you notice Kobayashi missing a lot of shots here because he's fatigued. Good body shot, light left, and big right hand got it. Look at that, he backs him up. Big shot and drops the former champ. Roberto Duran has him down. The counts up to four and five. He's not going to make it. Six, seven, eight, nine, and he's counted out to ten down here in Panama. What a great night and a great showing for a future brilliant star on the horizon, Roberto Duran. Get to it. 
I'd what? say young Bergman was hoping it would be. Costa Wolver came out now. Take my word. Take my word. He don't need to be cut. He don't want to be cut. He's seen red, so to speak. Well, he is oh, oh, oh left yeah, he's gone. Oh, Bergman, That's good night. That's it. Bergman's down. He's saying he's all right. Is he going to get up? Get him up. Get him up. This is it. Oh, left oh. Lap of all 10 seconds left here in the second round. The right hand from two was good. And another one! Flores Judah! He's up very quickly, but his eyes are in orbit. It's over! Jane Aidy stopped it. Judah immediately up and complains. But the fight finishes dramatically in the second round. And Costa Tsu has unified the light welterweight division. Tsu again with a right hand. Closing seconds of round one. And down goes Grove at the foul. And now it looks like the punch came right before the bell, and Grove is out. Wow. In there and trade with Delahoya. He's taking one shot at a time. Oh, and the body shots put Coley down. Two vicious body shots. Look. And, and as George said, it was an accumulation of blows, but that last left hook to the body sapped Coley of his remaining will and induced him to stay on his knee as referee Wayne Kelly counted him out. Oscar threw 51 punches and 36 of them were dead. Now the left hook seems to stagger Paez momentarily. De La Hoya follows with a flurry. Another left hook and down goes Jorge Paez. As Oscar landed that finishing left hook. There's that one. was the shot that hurt him. It wasn't the last one that got him. When That's you right. see a fighter fall on his neck as Paez did, you, he is hurt. It was the first left hook that set up all of this. And then the second left hook there put the man down. That's the Oscar De La Hoya we know right there. That's the Oscar. You know, the car's got to can't, can't make a, got to be a moving target. So just like Trinidad did in 1984, Oscar De La Hoya hurts Carr too badly for Carr to be able to finish the fight.